More research has the resources to optimize the process going from wood to dissolving cellulose and all the way to viscose fibers. To be able to do this, we need to evaluate how various parameters in different process steps affect the processability and the final product quality. This is possible by using more research pilot equipment, which covers the whole value chain. The entire process, from a log, through barking, chipping, sorting, cooking, bleaching, production of viscous dope, and finally spinning of viscous fibers can be simulated but it, it is it's also possible to focus on selected parts of the value chain. The viscous process can be simulated in small scale by using our Triber Micro Viscous Pilot Plant together with our sp spinning pilot equipment. The first step in the viscous process is a steeping of the dissolving cellulose in sodium hydroxide. The cellulose is swelling and thereby become more reactive towards the chemicals used later in the process. The hemocellulose in the pulp is removed by dissolving it in the steeping lye. The excess sodium hydroxide is removed from the pulp by using mechanical pressing and vacuum. The pulp is shredded to make the cellulose more accessible to the chemicals. One of the most important steps is the pre-aging, where the cellulose chains are cut into shorter pieces through a reaction with oxygen from the air. This reaction will continue until a certain length of the cellulose chains are obtained. In the sanctation, carbon disulfide is added to the cellulose, forming cellulose sanctate. The yellow color of the cellulose are caused by by reactions from the carbon disulfide. The cellulose sanctate is diluted in a sodium hydroxide solution. The ripening of the viscous dope continues overnight up to 16 hours. The cellulose and alkali content is analyzed both in the alkali cellulose after pre-aging and in the final viscous dope. Other properties that are analyzed on the viscous dope is filterability, gamma number, particle size distribution and ball fall.
The finished viscous dope are filtered to remove solid particles that otherwise would clog the spinnerets. The viscous dope are pressed through a spinneret containing small holes and out into the spin bath. When the viscose comes in contact with the spin bath, uh, the cellulose is regenerated and a viscous filament is formed out of each hole in the spinneret. The filaments are stretched between two wheels. And when the spinning is completed, the viscous fibers are cut, washed and bleached in several steps before drying and fiber analysis. The fiber properties that are analyzed is fiber strength expressed as tenacity, elongation and linear density. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions regarding our viscous pilot equipment or if you're interested in getting more information on how we can help you improve your product or process. You find our contact information on our homepage. Thank you.